it's polarity in life it's polarity here on earth and especially with everything surrounding our earthly affairs i mean i can take you to the south pole or the north pole and they look identical if i just took you to either one and dropped you off without any indications of where you were you wouldn't know whether you were at either one although they both look identical you in opposite sides of the globe life is the same way you start off as a helpless human being and then you ultimately grow into something powerful and then you end as a if you live long enough as a helpless human being life has polarity in that way even the discussion around the two extremes are places that we don't want to go if we don't feel like who we're talking to is mature enough you know what i mean anybody that has children or have kids and someone old has passed along and a kid who great grandma so-and-so died who where did they go oh geez you know well they died they you know ugh, don't we like to talk about it well where'd i come from they know they knew here i'm the youngest one well, where did i come from you don't like to talk about that either we'll talk about everything in between the beginning and the end but we really don't like to discuss what happens in the beginning with children or what happens in the end with children spirituality is much the same way which is why i don't like talking to people with hang-ups or i don't like talking to people who are dogmatic or who think in ways of right and wrong and this and that dude where i'm trying to walk you up to we're gonna go past some crude places it, it's it's gonna mimic the the unfolding of the life process we start off as a crude form anybody that's in uh nation of islam or islam often hear them talk about you know we start off as nothing to speak of sperm next to you is nothing to speak of the great minister used to refer to that you know that's nothing to speak of Ugh. but that's the beginning stages of something wonderful the beginning stages is always something crude and we have to just dive right in i'm still paralleling life and spirituality growth process where it starts off as something very crude. If you're someone with hangups and you can't get past even entertaining certain thoughts, well, you're not gonna achieve nirvana. You're not gonna be enlightened because you're gonna have to hold some thoughts in your mind that seem at first glance disgusting and crude. All beautiful things start off disgusting and crude. And when I say that about women and spirituality is that women nowadays usually come with a lot of hang-ups, a lot of dogma, a lot of fight. It used to be in another time period that they would have been the easiest to walk up to Nirvana or enlightenment because they would have fought you the least. They would have came most open. Anybody has ever met a woman who you didn't quite know but was very attracted to she was very attracted to you and she might have been on the opposite end of the spectrum that you are she was shy vulnerable sort of introverted but she knew she liked you she didn't know much about you but she was willing to be vulnerable and go somewhere she had never been be put in a position that she has never been put in in order to experience something wonderful spirituality is much like that ma'am if you don't fight me and you let me i'm trying to be clean about it and you let me grab your hair and arch your back and have my way with you without you fighting and you just succumb to what's being given to you something beautiful is going to happen and you're going to love me forever or at least you know these women nowadays nonetheless all i'm saying is something wonderful comes from being in a position that you don't quite understand at first any man if i got if i got to relate it to men because we're not having our hair pulled and not having our waist grabbed and we're not being vulnerable in that way but in our life when it comes to progress and financial progress you're often going to have to put yourself in an uncomfortable situation you're going to have to often take a position you're not quite certain if you're qualified to do but you're willing to give it a shot anyway because it pays more and the benefits of it being a success outweighs the risk and uncomfortable position that you're in at first sometimes you might have to go to another city man i can remember moving to another place for another city i'm not even gonna say the city or the place or the position that i was doing at the time but i remember being extremely uncomfortable about going there 
because I didn't know how long I was going to be there and if I was going to ever really come back again. And I remember being so nervous and anxious about it, but I knew something wonderful could possibly come out of it. The whole time on the airplane, I was throwing up in the little bag that they keep behind the seat. I mean, the whole time, and I was sitting, it was a seat uh, missing between me and another young lady who was just god awful attracted. And she gave me the indication that she was attracted to me. But I was sick as a dog and couldn't even focus on her. I mean, I was just throwing up because I just was very uncomfortable about where I was going. Nonetheless, I got there. Other men I was with was uncomfortable. Once I arrived and got to know these strangers who was there too, and they were all arriving from different places. Listen, that turned out to be one of the best experiences that I ever had in my life. Who the thought? They're going someplace that if I gave you the name of it, you wouldn't know. To hang around people who I had never met two weeks before then and haven't kept in contact with two weeks after that would have been one of the best experiences I had in my life. Who'd have thought that if you get outside your comfort zone, something wonderful can happen? And yes, it was financially beneficial for me and a great experience at the same time. Everything that's wonderful will start off crude at first. So if you can't entertain or you can't stomach some of the things that I say, if you got a hang up where, well, dude, I just can't get where, well, dude, we're taking the scenic route, but we have to jump right in. Have you ever trained or led a training class with individuals and you might have had a 10 day window to get these trainees brief up to date and out on the floor doing what they need to be doing. If you're in the military through basic training and able to go to their assigned position and do their job. Anybody who know that you, you the higher ups is on you, but you know you gotta jump in right away. It doesn't look good if on the first day of training they look and say, man, y'all took three long breaks. You spent the first half of the day getting to know each other, telling each other stories about where you from, sort of just kicking the, dude, y'all moseyed through and talked about what you were gonna eat for lunch for 20 minutes, and then you went on lunch for an hour and a half. Anybody know that that's not a good look? It's better just to hit the ground running immediately. So when we're talking and we're making these videos, we're going to treat time like a commodity and we're going to dive right in. If it makes you uncomfortable with some of the stuff that we're going to discuss, well then you hit like on your way out, subscribe to the channel and put somebody on who can stomach what we're trying to give them and can go to a place that you're too coward to get to. That's fine if you're too cowardly to get there. Dude, that's fine. You got a innumerable amount of lifetimes to grow into a Buddha. Go do something else then. I'm here talking to people who really want to experience the beauty of Nirvana and enlightenment. We talk about going different places on earth, but with astro travel, you can really meditate in the comfort of your own home and go to different places in the universe. Now, some people, like I said, can't stomach that. Dude, you're crazy. What are you talking about? Yes, dude, you can go to different places. Not only anywhere, but any when in the universe. God has created a super fast highway, but you're gonna have to take the scenic route to even get to it in this lifetime right now in the present moment. In fact, you need to always be in the present moment. To wrap this back up towards polarity, you're gonna always be somewhat imbalanced. It's sort of good, because I asked you at the moment, well, okay, how you feeling? And you like, oh, well, I don't know, I got kind of tired and my ankle hurts and my stomach is feeling a little icky. Yeah, but at least you know how you're feeling. At least you can correctly articulate exactly how you're feeling at the time. You're not like, I don't know what's wrong with you. I don't know why. Because you don't know how you should feel right now in the present moment. You should live in the present moment. Be in the now. We tend to look back and romanticize the past, which clouds are present right now. It's like gaslighting, but turning inward. 
now we need to process these events in real time so we need to not look back at the past with a degree of nostalgia like most people do now we can keep it accurate and real which is why we can't manipulate anyone and we're not trying to manipulate ourselves we got to stay in reality here if we stay in reality in the present moment when we consciously meditate and take in cosmic energy and get on that super fast highway, we can make it there and make it back with something that we couldn't have picked up in this world. Do you follow me? It's understanding out there in different parts of the universe. Everything doesn't have a sound to it. You get me? I'm using the English language. It's certain events that happen and unfold in this universe that don't have a sound that I can make with my mouth associated with it. Can you follow that? It's often crude what I say at times, but in order to grow people, it's kind of like being funny, where when you hear a joke, you usually don't have time to sort of process how funny the joke is. You unconsciously laugh at it when you hear it. Enlightenment and Nirvana is gonna, it's gonna happen just like that understanding and blowing your mind open is going to happen just like that quickly and unconsciously it's a natural law to the universe that whatever you run from runs to you and whatever you run to runs from you which is fine to understand these guys having a hard time getting women i'm not trying to get on that but that is a fundamental principle when it comes to dealing with some wild animal and when they tell you don't turn around and run well, it's gonna chase you. If you hold your ground, well, they're gonna realize exactly who you are. If you go to charging at it with all that force, once it recognizes who you are, it's gonna run from you. If you go on about your way though, glance at whatever it is and keep it moving, they will eventually grow curious with you. I don't care what it is. If it's here on earth, then you understand that natural law then you would never be in a position to have to use your will to pull anything towards you everything on earth behaves the same way correction everything in the universe behaves the same way these laws are woven into the fabric of our universe and everything that our universe produces and everything that it produces, that produces, produces things with that signature on it. That's why you got the spiral in your head where your hair grows out and it looks like the spiral of the galaxy. That's you. That's why the veins running up your arm looks like the tree branches growing in the tree. Or the lightning strike that you see in the sky when it rains or it thunderstorms. That's you, it's you. You're the highest expression of that. If you was to even look down at the earth from an aerial point of view where you can still see cars and stuff moving and chaos and stuff in other parts of the world, war, crime or whatnot, you can look at your body with a microscope and see a war going on inside that. Your immune system is fighting germs. It's fight. You don't know who's winning or who's losing. All you would say is, well, darn, it's a fight. I feel fine, but it's a war going on down there why war is beautiful in and of itself it's in us to astro travel would we'll be seeing something straight out of star wars intergalactic war going on in the universe what do you think the universe looks like when you pull that microscope or telescope all the way out how is the universe shaped it's shaped like a man allah means arm leg leg arm head that's you you are the highest expression of everything this universe has to offer. Unbox your brain. Don't listen to certain stuff I say and you just say, oh, that's just a crude thought. How does he even get to that conclusion? Dude, to get to this beautiful place, I'm gonna drive you to. We're gonna go through the hood. We're gonna go through the desert. We're gonna go past the farm. We're gonna go past. Don't get hung up on what we're passing. Concentrate on where we're going. And when we get there, all I ask is that you say, hey, yeah, that was a heck of a ride. Thank you for bringing me here. You're welcome. They're scared of me because when you walk in the room, they see God.